hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the second module of python and it has mainly three topics list tuples and dictionaries so we'll be looking what are, are uh, the differences between these and the functions in each of these okay and if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so let's uh, get started with the topics these are the previous questions which we'll be discussing after the uh, discussion of the topics okay so this is a very easy module uh, starting we have the list what is a list in other um, programming languages we have an array right so in uh, uh, in python we have a list instead of array okay and uh, we can declare the list as follows lst is equal to the uh, items which you have to declare here we can have any numbers also and if we output the list it will show as a list here okay and if you want to access any specific element like and what we will write is the index number of that okay so this is the index 0 index 1 and index 2 if i write lst of index 0 i'll get the output as and okay and we can concatenate the strings also okay like uh, if i want to output like hello then lst of 2 what is lst of 2 cat i can write hello plus lst of 2 okay it will output hello cat okay and if i want to access the elements from the end what i'll write is minus one this is minus one this is minus two minus three you can do it in this way also you'll get the same answer only okay so lst of minus one will give me the last uh, element which is cat LST, uh, lst of minus two will give me the second last element which is ball okay and suppose that i have the uh, array spam here the numbers from one to eight and if I want to output only the numbers from 1 to 4, what I will do is slicing. Okay, slicing means write the number here, which index you want to start and which index you want to end. Okay, if I want to start from 0, 0 and uh, output till 3, I have to write 3 plus 1, which is 4. Okay, 0 to 4 will output from 0 to 3. Okay, this will be 1 extra. Okay, ending point. And uh, we can do from middle also, like uh, from 2 to 5, you have to write 2 uh, colon 6. It will output the elements from index number 2, which is 3 to index number 5 which is 6 here okay <coughs> okay so these are the outputs uh, 3 4 5 6 same thing you can do for the negative uh, indices also like this minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 till how much we want like uh, suppose that we want from minus 4 to uh, minus 1 so i'll write here spam of minus 4 to minus 1 it will output from 5 to 8 okay so this is the output 5 uh, 6 7 sorry it's not 8 because uh, minus 1 will output the minus 2 till minus 2 only so it will be from minus 4 till minus 2 which is uh, till 7 okay and uh, removing the value from the list suppose that the list is uh, this one we have uh, cat bat rat and elephant if i have to delete the uh, um, rat element from here what i'll do is uh, write the keyword uh, del and the uh, element which i want to delete okay spam of 2 will um, access rat and it will delete it okay so the output will be cat bat and elephant and if i have to change the value of the list suppose that uh, in the list we have uh, spam zero i can write there as ant okay so instead of the first element which is cat here it will become as ant okay so the output will be ant bat and elephant working with the list here is a program what it does is it creates a list here and infinite while loop and print enter the name of the cat okay so the input will be keep on coming until i uh, input nothing okay if i in input nothing and i click enter it will stop okay how it will be checked is the name will contain the input whatever i enter like cat bat or uh, any other name and if the input is null here like uh, nothing is there break okay so in that way what all input i uh, enter it will be stored in name and that name will be concatenated with cat names therefore all the cat names will be from um, present in the list cat names by using a for loop we can uh, print it okay uh, just like we had done for the numbers also here also we can use the for loop for i in this list print i so it will i will iterate from 0 1 2 and 3 so it will print those values and we can use the in and not operator also suppose that um, how uh, suppose that if uh, suppose that if i write howdy in uh, this list if it's present here it will uh, return me true else if it's not present like a cat in spam it's not present here it will return me false okay and we can use the random function also for the list we have two functions random choice and random shuffle in random choice we have the list here uh, which contains the pet names and if i uh, write like random dot choice pets i pass in the list here it will output me any of the random name okay and random uh, random dot shuffle will uh, random dot shuffle this function will just um, interchange the places of these elements okay and augmented assignment operator means if uh, spam is 42 i'll write spam is equal to spam plus 1 so it will become 43 okay and we can do that in a shortcut uh, shortcut method also like uh, plus is equal to 1 okay like spam 
which is 42 plus is equal to 1 will return spam is equal to 43 okay now let's discuss some of the methods uh, like if i have to uh, find any index of any element i'll write uh, spam this is the um, array here <coughs> this is the list here and i have to find uh, uh, and if i have to find out the index of the last uh, element here i'll input that element here and write the index okay spam dot index the element which i have to find the index of that will return me the index number okay and if i have to add the values i can use two functions append and insert okay in append i can insert the element at the last but in the insert what i have to do is i have to write like uh, yes, spam dot insert not chicken okay so it will insert it um, so it will insert it at any uh, random position um, not uh, at the last or not at the starting okay in between it will insert previously discussed how to delete the element using the index value now we'll discuss how to remove the element by the name okay if i write spam dot remove i'll write the element name that will be removed here it is cat if i write here bat it will be removing bat okay so here the output will be cat and rat and if i have to sort the values i can use the sort uh, function here spam dot sort will sort these values if it's a list of the um, words it will sort it according to the alphabetical order okay and for reversing we can use the reverse function it will reverse the list and tuples are nothing but immutable data types okay we can't edit the values it will be within the um, braces here and if i write like x of 1 is equal to 99 it will not be possible and references is uh, just another name for the same variable if i have spam is equal to 42 if i write cheese equal to spam then cheese will also point to 42 okay that is known as references dictionary is used to store the key value pairs okay like suppose dictionary has one and to one i have assigned a for two i have assigned b and for three i have assigned c okay if i access dict of a uh, dict of one it will output me uh, a okay dict of three will output me c in that way you can store the number uh, with the assigned value this is similar to hash mapping okay and what are the keys and values keys are nothing but this one one two and three and the values are the values assigned to each of these okay for example if i have the uh, dictionary here spam it will be within the uh, curly braces here and color red age uh, 41 okay so for v in spam dot values what are values values are these then if i print v it will print the values which is red and 42 okay and if i have to uh, output the keys i'll write for k in spam dot keys and it will print k so therefore the output will be color and age okay because those are the keys okay and item is uh, just the combination of the both if i write for i in spam dot items and i print i it will print the whole uh, key pair value okay get method is used to get the um, item which is like if i write here picnic items apples is assigned as 5 and uh, cups is assigned as 2 if i write uh, get cups it will return me 2 if i write uh, get apples it will return me 5 okay for getting the values we can use the get uh, method also and if i have to add any new value pair like for example if i have in spam names and age okay if i want to add color also we'll check if color not in spam then spam of color is equal to black so here i will have the color and the assigned value will be black okay that will also be inserted in the dictionary for that we can use set default method and uh, the next one is pretty printing pretty printing we have to import a library p print and after that if i have a message here I'm, i have to count how many times a particular letter has occurred okay so what i can do is i can create a count dictionary and for each character in the message i will uh, increment the count so therefore uh, finally when i print the values for each uh, character the count number will be printed okay this is a dictionary okay we can have nested dictionaries also that means a uh, dictionary inside a dictionary like for example how many guests are there and how many items they want like alice wants uh, five apples and uh, 12 pizzas and bob wants um, uh, hum sandwiches three and apples two like that we can have many guests okay for each we have to store multiple values we can use a multiple dictionary for accessing the values we can use two variables k and v in guest items it will uh, get the item for each of these uh, guests here and it will calculate the total number of items brought okay if i have to print i can do that in a simple way i have to print like apples then uh, total brought is equal to all guests how many apples were brought okay in that how many cups were brought how many cakes were brought that all will be printed okay the next one is about strings if uh, i write like spam is equal to that uh, that is alice cat at that time this is known as a string and we can use the escape characters to print the same string in two lines wherever you, i uh, use the slash n it will output in a different line so i'll have two lines here divided by a slash n and we can have the multiple line in the strings also like uh, by using triple quotes 
So the output will be in three lines as uh, same as uh, how we write here that will be the output and the same can be used for multi-line comments also okay. String is nothing but an array of characters so therefore we can access the um, characters also like an array. If I write spam is equal to hello world and if I access spam of 0 it will output me h, spam of 1 will output me e. In the same way we can have a slicing also spam of 0 to 5 will output me from 0 to index number 4 it will be hello and if I have to check some word is present in the string or not I will write hello in uh, hello world it will print me true. If I write hello in hello it is the same word so it will uh, output me true. And the last one which is uh, hello E L L O is a small letters but here we have capital letters so it will output me false okay. And if I have to convert from lower to upper and upper to lower we can use the functions upper and lower for example spam is equal to hello world if I write spam is equal to spam dot upper each of the letter present here will become uppercase okay so the output will be hello world. And the same can be done for the lower also okay. And we can check if it is lower or not. Why, uh, if it is upper or not okay. If each of the letter is lower then only it will uh, output me uh, true. If each of the letter is upper and if uh, each of the letter is lower it will output me true in each of these case. But since here it is a mixture like h is capital here and others are small so therefore it will output me uh, false for is lower and false for is upper also because the whole string is not uh, neither upper nor lower okay. In the same way we can check for uh, is alpha, is alpha means if the uh, string contains only alphabets and is alnum means if it contains alphabets as well as numbers okay except the uh, special digits which are like hash and exclamation mark and all okay. If this is there it will output me false else it will output me true. We can use the join and split methods that is very useful if you have a list of the elements here and we want to join it by comma you can write comma dot join and the list will be passed here so the output will be the list elements and uh, separated by a comma okay. And we can have the split also so what it does is this is the string here it will uh, split the string into different elements okay. This is very useful function in uh, data processing. Uh, sometimes you want to remove the white spaces spam is equal to hello world here and we have the white space here if you have to remove that we can use the strip function. So the output will be just hello world okay. So the output will be just hello world okay. And sometimes we'll, when we log in into any uh, account it will ask me to enter the password using the digits and letters only. So how we can check that? We can take the password, uh, password using input and after that we can, uh, we can check if the password is uh, having the letters and numbers like password dot is alnum okay. This will check if the password has the numbers and letters if it is true it will uh, output as uh, successful or else it will output as password can have only letters and numbers okay. So this is one of the application of is alnum. And finally we have two functions start with and ends with okay. If you have to check uh, if any string starts with the particular um, string uh, substring then I can check with starts with for example hello world dot starts with hello okay. If hello world starts with hello it will output me true else it will output me false okay. Same thing we can do for ends with also here hello world dot ends with world if it ends with world here and it is ending with world so it will output me true okay. So this is all about uh, what we need to know from the module 2. So let us discuss about the previous questions now. So the first question is explain the string slicing I have discussed that and explain, uh, write a python code to display the last 6 characters. How we will display last 6 characters by using the indexing which is minus 6 okay that also we had discussed and what about this one what, uh, write a python program to accept a file name this from another, another module since I have copied from the previous papers like different schemes so the questions will be mixed here. So I will be just discussing those questions which are uh, of our module. So um, the next one is explain the while and for loops I have discussed and explain the pro uh, write a, pro a pi program to find the largest value from a given set of accepted values. How we can find the largest value? Have a variable uh, max and inside that check for each value if max is uh, less than the uh, present value then update that value with max okay and finally we will have the max value which we can print okay. The next one is uh, about string, hang uh, string handling methods which we had discussed write a pi program to check whether the string is palindrome or not. What is a palindrome? The palindrome means uh, like uh, for example if the string is 1 2 2 1 2 2 1 okay this is a palindrome or not it is a palindrome so how we can check this is the index 0 this index minus 1 check if it is uh, same index 1 and index minus 2 check if it is same like that keep doing till you reach the middle that means it is a palindrome else it is not okay in that way you can uh, create a function. The next one is uh, about the file handling which is uh, from another module develop a program to create a copy of existing file 
and write a program to concatenate and compare two strings. How to con uh, concatenate by using a plus sign and compare two strings is strcmp. Okay. The next question is to uh, convert uh, uh, decimal to binary. For that, we have to write a Python program. Okay. So let's consider a decimal number like thirteen. We have to write this in binary. How we can do? We have to divide this by two so that the remainder will be one. Then again, we'll divide by two. Then the remainder will be zero. Then we'll get a uh, three. Three by two is one. Then we'll get a remainder one. Okay. So taking this in reverse order will give us the binary equivalent. Okay. So how to do that is first whenever you get a remainder store that in a list okay and after that take the reverse of that list okay then you will get the uh, converted uh, binary equivalent okay so in that way we can uh, write a python program and the next one is list any six um, str methods okay that we can find in google and mention the advantages and disadvantages of continuous statement and write a program to compare uh, compute only even number uh, even number sum within the given natural number using continuous statement advantage and disadvantage we can find in google but uh, this one i can discuss write a program to compute only even number sum okay so we can write a uh, if statement like this if it's even at that time what it should do it should calculate the sum um, plus is equal to the number okay else continue okay in that way we can um, form a loop okay for this one and the last one is um, Define a string, how it can be uh, traversed through the looping statements and write a Python program to display the presence of a given substring. There are two questions. The first one is this one, define a string and how it can be traversed through the uh, looping statement. See the string is nothing but an array of characters. So when we have an array of characters, we can traverse it uh, by using the index number, array of 0, array of 1, like that we can traverse using a loop. And the second question is to display the presence of a given substring, okay, that we can use by in, okay, uh, like we had discussed earlier, for example, h if uh, h in um, hello, okay, or we can write h e in hello. If this uh, string is present in the main string, it will return as true, else it will return as false, okay. And the last one is the from another module, so we will not discuss now. So this is all what is there in the module 2 of Python and thank you for watching and see you in the next one.